joining us from downtown Toronto via satellite this morning is uh, Niall McCann from uh, the Discovery Channel's uh, new show called Biggest and Baddest. Morning, Niall. How are you? Good morning. I'm very well. How are you? Uh, very good. Thank you. I know your, uh, your new series, uh, Biggest and Baddest, premiered last night with Anaconda's Heaviest Snake in the World. Yeah, we, we hope it was really well received and over the next five weeks there's going to be five more episodes as well and I hope right. each one of them will be just as exciting as last night's. I didn't have a chance to see it last night. It's past my bedtime, my friend, but I did PVR that bad boy and I can't wait to see it. I, see it. I, I, I like the anacondas. Coming up, big tigers. Um, you got crocodiles, you got elephants and uh, even birds are included in this series, right? A absolutely. It's a bird called the cassowary, which is the... the, the most dangerous bird in the world, and it looks like a feathered velociraptor. It's one of the most remarkable things you've ever seen. Right. And anybody that hasn't heard of it, when they first see this thing, they will, they will be shocked to see what it looks like. It's the most incredible looking animal there is. Now, I, I've heard that you actually got pretty up close and personal with the anacondas. Is this a theme throughout the series that you're going to get as close to these big bad animals as you can? That's, that's one of the ideas. I, I wanted to shine a spotlight on the mysterious lives of these iconically dangerous animals. Yeah. And the best way to do that is to try and get into their lives in some way and get as close as possible and observe them up close and personal. Right. And with the anacondas, we actually wanted to try and contribute something to the ongoing research on anacondas right. by taking measurements and GPS locations and that type of thing. So I had to get very close and personal with, with some enormous, enormous animals. Anyone that watched the show last night will know. And anyone that's that's already recording it. We're watching it today. Yeah, they've got a treat to look forward. I'm to. I'm looking forward to it. That's for sure. Now, uh, you've Great. been all over the world doing these, of course, uh, the the uh, anacondas in the Amazon and so on. Um, what was the most dangerous spot you were in? We're looking at some of the some of the uh, video from the anaconda show right now. What was the most dangerous spot you found on on your journey? I would say by far and away, it was tracking elephants on foot through the jungles of Nepal. Oh, really? An anacondas are one thing, and, and they're hugely dangerous, but being on foot right next to a herd of elephants is just on another level of danger. And, and of course, the elephants share their habitat with tigers, with rhinos, with enormous pythons, and with all kinds of other things as well. So there, there were many things to have to keep into mind, and, and at various points, th the outcome was never quite clear. There was this sense of suspense. I didn't know what was going to happen, right. and I was the one out there. It was right. quite something. Right. Are you, were you frightened? I don't frighten very easily, right. but there was one occasion involving <laughs> an elephant where I was absolutely petrified, <laughs> and you, you'll have to watch the show to, to find out why. But, yeah, I, I, I was genuinely concerned <laughs> that I was going to get out of that alive. It, really, it was quite something. Uh, let me ask you this. I mean, it's one thing for you, and you're an experienced guy in these, in these areas. What about the crew that goes with you? I mean, obviously, camera guys uh, have to get up close and personal uh, with these animals as well. Like, what kind of situation do you find yourselves in with your crew? We had some amazing situations. There was one time when we found a tiger kill. It had just killed a deer. And we, we wanted to try and get some film of it coming back. So the cameraman, Todd, had to climb up a tree 15 feet above the kill and wait for the tiger to come back. And right. that, that was something I think he, he hadn't necessarily signed up for at the start of the show. But, but credit to him, he did it. And we had another situation where I, I, was, I was working with a very, very large snake, a huge Burmese python. And suddenly another one came out of the blue uh -huh. and was starting to come towards me, mouth open, <laughs> ready to go. And I, I had to catch that at the same time. So I had 25 feet of, of, of giant snake in my hands at the same time and had to call in one of the, one of the other crew, the, the stills photographer and grip, Andy, came running over to pull the slightly smaller snake out of my hand. Right. So the crew are hugely involved. and it's been, it's been an amazing experience for all of us to go through. No kidding. Listen, it's on Wednesday nights, this new series called Biggest and Baddest. The first one was on... Uh, Last night, Anaconda's heaviest snake in the world. If you didn't PVR it, I believe you can get it uh, on demand, if you like, uh, through the Discovery uh, Channel. But uh, coming up next week, big tigers, India's giant terrors, and, and so on for the next uh, five Wednesdays, right? That's exactly true. S subscribe to Animal Planet if you haven't done it already. You really won't regret it. I don't think you would have seen anything quite like this before. Niall, thanks for joining us this morning, and um, stay safe, Thank my friend. Thank you so much. That's, for that's good stuff. <laughs> I'll try. Right. Thank you. Bye-bye.